Well hello people, welcome to the next senpai. Becoming an overpowered main character with status as heroes who fight with the bad guys, struggle from zero to hero, and vanquishing the demon king becomes a mainstream formula that we often encounter in watching anime in the modern era. But what happens if they hide their strengths and choose to be ordinary workers that we often face in everyday life? Before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue to support this small channel about anime so that it continues to grow, and strive to provide information or recommendations, watching anti-mainstream anime that is a very unfortunate to pass up. Keeping watching this video and stay awesome. Let's go! High Card a high card is a secret group of players who have been specially ordered by the King Forland to collect the supernatural cards spread around the kingdom while working extra legal measures as an employee of the luxury car pinnacle. Finn Oldman, who has been recruited to be the group's fifth member, eventually joins the players on a risky journey to obtain these cards. However, High Card must contend with threats from a rival car maker which wants to eliminate Pinnacle and the Klondike crime family who wants the x cards for conspiratorial purposes. A collection of 52 x cards that can bestow various superhuman powers and skills on individuals who possess them may dominate the global order. People may use these cards to access the secret power of the human inside themselves. Finn becomes engaged in the struggle over the X-Playing cards, which summons a loaded Nambu revolver into his hand, while working undercover as a salesman for the Pinnacle Car Company, and joins the players on a dangerous mission to find these cards. If you're looking for neat action, High Card was impressed by the movie Kingsman, it will keep your blood pumping, but for me, it was a struggle to pay attention through the whole episode. I could not become a hero, so I reluctantly decided to get a job. Raul Chaser, dreaming of becoming an overpowered hero and vanquishing the Demon King, attends in the hero training program to pursuit of his ambition. However, after the Demon King is defeated and the world returns to peace, the hero training program is eternally suspended, making it impossible for anybody to become a hero. Two years later, Raul half-heartedly works at Magic Shop Leon, a modest electronics shop. Though the former hero in training is troubled by the retail monotony, everything changes when a new hire approaches. At first, appearing to be merely stranger with beautiful looks, for sure, it turns out to be a female demon by nicknamed Fino. Surprisingly, Raul's employee is the late Demon King's daughter, and his life drastically changes becomes more attractive than before, even he is handed the responsibility with training this weird new employee. However, in many circumstances, it can also trigger feelings of love and affection between them, he will the wholeheartedly protect loved ones when in danger, and reveal the real Raul Chaser, regardless of his history from past. Parallel World Pharmacy A young pharmacologist and researcher in Japan Yakutani Kanji, died from overworking and was reincarnated as Falma de Medicis, a 10-year-old apprentice to a famous royal court pharmacist, in a parallel world looking like a fantasy medieval Europe. He also learned divine arts and was given an elementless ability, which is quite rare, and increased almost to infinity. Perceive medical anomalies, and he possesses the divine eye that can detect all illness and injury, and install material creation and destruction as he designed. His body no longer casts a shadow if someone knows what happened to him, Falma can be judged unnatural and believe him to be a monster, so they agree to hide it. In a society where dubious medical practices are rampant, price gouging through the monopoly of the pharmacist guild and good medicine isn't available to the commoners. He decided to use his previous knowledge to change the world to create innovative treatment and new medicine while helping people about living their new life in the parallel world. I've somehow gotten stronger when I improved my farming skills. Born in a peaceful village to a dedicated and hard-working person, Al Wayne, is a diligent farmer who always prefers farming the most important above anything else. He is quite an oddball since he thinks of himself as a typical farmer, even his surrounding people notice that his skills are not just farmer. After refining his farming skills to the max, he has superhuman strength and perfect steadiness are powerful enough to fight stronger monsters with monstrous prowess. Proven by the scene, he hits a dragon's critical spot from a long distance, killing it just by throwing out a carrot. He earns the title of a first-rate cultivator due to this achievement from his village. Al Wayne gains a substantial upgrade to his stats, which now eclipse even the strength like a legendary hero's. 
This farmer craze drives him to the extreme to the point where he'd rather die if offered a job other than farming. Even with his high stats and valuable skills, he never acts arrogant, wanting to keep a low profile as he does not want to stand out much for anything. Campfire cooking in another world, with my absurd skill. Mukuda Suyoshi is summoned from modern Japan to a different world of sword and magic. He thought of what kind of a big adventure was waiting for him, but actually, Mukoda was just a civilian caught in a hero summoning, and that is where they could better compare Mukoda's base status to the legitimate heroes. The only thing Mukoda could rely on in this world was his absurd skill of embedding an online shop market, so that he could order anything from modern Japan to different worlds. He left the country as he observed how suspicious the royal family was of finding his new freedom, with his natural ability to create a wide variety of delicious food and unique skills that he got from another world, Saito began to blend in well with his surroundings, even attracting the legendary Wolf Fenrir. Having an attraction for delicious food, the legendary Wolf Fenrir eventually entered into a contract with Mokuda and becoming his familiar. Followed by his whimsical mythical being, the main character realizes his terrible abilities, where every dish he makes can be an extra supplement that can drastically increase stamina and magic power. Handyman Saito in another world. Saito is an ordinary worker who feels his handicraft skill are useless on earth, often considered underestimated by those around him. Since his second life in another world, a familiar person's fulfilling life as a handyman, it is a beneficial skill for his teammates in activities to dungeon exploration where it was dangerous places full of traps. For the first time, Saito understands what it's like to be needed and can complement each team member's weaknesses, even though he doesn't have high combat abilities. An overpowered old magician has a weakness in his memory of spelling magic, but Saito can help with memorization intelligence and acts as a magic assistant. Saito is also an expert in combat analysis to supporting girl warriors and little else to help find gaps to attack effectively through the enemy's weaknesses. He has a genuine personality, always behaves honestly, does something without considering himself, and is excellent at caring for and taking care of people. This anime is simply fantastic, and it manages to hit just the right balance of light comedy, like the origin of the fantasy world's measurement system and everyday tragedy. Moriarty, the Patriot In the last decades of the 19th century, Great Britain expanded into the most powerful empire in history. Unsurprisingly, the system favors the aristocrats at the top and makes it hard for the working class to advance. The nation's tight economic hierarchy prescribes the worth of one's life exclusively on status and riches, which is hidden inside his achievement. William James Moriarty, having assumed the name of his deceased adoptive brother at a young age by the Moriarty household's second son, lives as a typical aristocrat while simultaneously being a young professor of mathematics and reveals his identity as a consultant criminal to help the common people solve their issues. He can be relentless and methodical, setting up traps to catch his targets to kill them with complete confidence, no matter what type of situation he is dealing with, be sarcastic to his quarries, or simply bad to ends up the problems of asymmetry of the hierarchical society. William and his brothers Albert and Louis are determined to clean up the squalor they've been born into, even if blood must be spilled, and replace it with a new culture that is just for everyone. The Silver Guardian the story follows a high school student and intense gamer, Suijin Riku, as he attends the prestigious Shinryu Private Academy, a school for the elite and the wealthy people. In fact, he is penniless and has to work many part-time jobs to pay for his tuition. One day, while he is working a pool cleaning job, one of his many jobs, he sees a cat drowning and without hesitation, he jumps in to save the kitty. Luckily in this situation, a girl came by the name of Rei Riku, helped him and they started getting acquainted. He didn't know in lack of information, but she was the daughter of the game developer that created his favorite game, Dungeon Century. However, the game is cordoned off by sudden deduction, it is announced that the game is scheduled to shut down, but Suijin finds out that his crush, the kind-hearted Rei Riku, and his online friend are the same person. However, as a punishment for this discovery, Rei is abducted and trapped by Grey Buster, forcing Suijin Riku to enter the harsh new world of a pay-to-win game to save her, while uncovering the secrets of hidden power, until revealing his true identity, after he knew what he was. The Devil is a Part-Timer 
The demon Lord Shatun wants to take over the world of End Isla by annexing its four continents with the help of his demon generals. After being faced by the hero Amelia and her allies, they pushed and fled the realm of End Isla, accidentally opened a portal to modern Tokyo, Japan. However, because of the lack of magic in the modern world, both Shatan and Elseal transform into appearances that resemble what they would seem like if they were human. To survive in the new world without magic, Shatan works part-time at a fast food restaurant, while Elseal acts as his housekeeper. One day, Shatan, now known as Mao Shadow, encounters a girl named Amelia in the shape of Emi Yusa, and Gap's work as a call center agent. The storyline then develops and explores the characters' personalities and moral values. However, when he and his party transforms into the original form, they utilize abilities for a good reason, such as repairing and maintaining the city, which constantly confuses the characters, due to his status transformed into the Devil King. Plunderer a legendary man from 300 years ago hides his true identity behind a mask and pretends to be a fool in society. He is also shamelessly perverted and is rejected by many girls needy in an almost comical way. Licked Bach, changing roles in every place, sometimes becomes a street clown, sometimes helps the sergeant major do the volunteer work and sells pudding with adorned cup costumes. Being one of the seven legendary Red Barons, who earned the nickname Flash Baron, because he has incredibly high speed, which is even faster than the light. He is enigmatic as far as intentions person, he does his best to conceal that he is a Baron, but his overwhelming power and inability to allow others to suffer causes him to reveal himself often. This anime follows the journey of Lichbach, Hina and his friends to follow in other inhabitants as they discover the truth about their world, the Abyss, and the story of a legendary hero with all the regrets of his past.